Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the second episode of our Lumion Legacy Let's Play after the Atlantean update went live. Today we are traversing the Gale Forest. Uh, this is basically where we left off after episode one, but also after the stream that we did when the update went live. So now we're getting into some new territory. What do we got, a Cathorn? Cathorn's got nothing on me, let's be real. Uh, do I have... Do I... Yeah, we'll fight it. We need the XP. Our Cathorn's a little, little weak boy right now. Depending on how the level curve is, I may do some training off screen at some point, but we'll see how things go. I don't like to get too over leveled. A lot of, a lot of people will make let's plays where they're just super over leveled and they're just one shotting everything. I, I personally find that a little bit boring for the more intense battles. So we'll see. I just find it a lot more fun when I can actually lose. Like, I've had Let's Plays where I actually just lost major battles, and I was like, oh, and, like, that was in the Let's Play, which I think is pretty cool. A lot of people don't don't include that that kind of stuff. Oh. Hey. There are a lot of bug-type Lumians in these woods. Let me show you what I mean. Cade would like to battle. Grubby. Grubby's kind of cute, not gonna lie. I think Hathorn's... Actually, I don't know. Grubby's kind of cool. I think Cathorn's a little cooler though. Maybe. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Oh no. I don't do that much damage. Okay. Uh, we'll switch. Let's get our bird out here. Come on, Twiddle. Definitely need to train it up a little bit. I want to see what it evolves into. Might have an advantageous hit here. No, we don't. We just have Pounce. Okay. I was hoping we'd have a flying... Or I think it's called flying type in this game. I'm not I'm not sure what the type's called, but I was hoping we had a move of that type, so that's not gonna work out too well either. So we'll just switch to Weevolt. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So I'm realizing now that Weevolt was actually based on a weasel, apparently. It looks like a cat. Okay. <laughs> it's a cat. Electric shock, let's go. Goodbye. You got some more bugs for me, buddy? Oh, there we go. Cathorn's level 5. Cade's about to send out a Cathorn of his own. Okay, let's switch into Twiddle and get some XP. Yeah, so apparently there's no way to turn off the switch option, which... I mean, I usually turn it off when I play, but it, it's not that big of a deal because we'll just use it to get some free XP, I guess. go buddy oh so I had some people asking uh, reborn let's play Pokemon reborn fan game still happening uh, basically this Lumion uh, legacy doesn't it's not done right so it's in early access so it's not a full game so obviously there won't be as many Lumion episodes as something like reborn that's probably gonna take like a lot of episodes so the Lumion ones will eventually end and the reborn ones will continue but I am running them simultaneously right now so, I'm doing Lumion a little bit quicker, just because the, the update just came out, I really want to check it out, I want to do some videos on it, but Reborn's still happening, like, there'll be at least one or two episodes a week of that. I like the sort of balance we got going on, where I do a more topical video in the morning and release a Let's Play on most days in the afternoon. I think that kind of, like, hits both of my audiences that enjoys the different types of contents, like, um, content, like, like better because I have some people who prefer let's plays and I have some people who prefer um like more scripted or just more topical videos like news videos stuff like that so I think it's like the perfect balance and like let's plays and stuff are a lot easier for me to do because I gotta play these games anyway so I might as well play them and upload so you guys can check it out so yeah all in all good times static shock let's go Twitter learn pack. There we go. Oh no, my precious bugs. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. You hurt my bugs, man. Oh, another twiddle. Okay. Well, I don't want to be in here. Uh, 
I might want to train up my tw tittle, tittle, twiddle now that I think about it. Because it's going to have the advantage against uh, some of the bugs in here. He looks so cool when he's chasing you around. Okay, grubby. Now the real question is, should I try to catch everything in the game? Okay, air. The flying equivalent is air. I know some games do wind, some games do air, some games do uh, flying. It just depends. Okay, I'm, I'm still... This guy's defensive, eh? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Nope, not you. Let's go Weevil. I really want to get Weevil to level 18 so he evolves. Ah, I can't wait to get him to a dragon. They turn into dragon. He turns into a dragon, bro. You guys haven't seen my um, Lumion Starter Evolution video? Definitely check it out. I love doing videos breaking down Starter Evolutions. They're so much fun. They're a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun. A lot of editing. Especially for someone who uploads every day. <laughs> but... Oh, what says pro pay? Okay, this thing's kind of ugly. I never ended up catching catching the other guy. Oh, is this a bug type? Looks like a fire type. It's probably bug fire. That's probably what's going on here. Okay, let's... I might catch him. If I don't kill him in one hit. He's just increasing his defense. Joke's on you, kid. Yeah, we'll catch him. Like, I, I, I think we can go for the catch now. Go capture disc. Now, I'm wondering if there's an EXP share equivalent in this game. That'll be interesting to, to see. I might want to weaken him a little more. My physical attack should be doing, like, very negligible damage at this point. Yeah. And we'll hit him with one more. And then we'll we'll go for the catch. And then we gotta progress the story. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta see what's going on in this forest. Propane was successfully caught, or whatever his name is. Propay. Give a nickname? No. You don't deserve a nickname, you scum. Twiddle grew to level five. Nice. Okay. All right, let's let's keep going down the forest. It's over here. Oh wait. Oh no, I was just to check my guy. Okay. You can, like, hide in here. They should have put a trainer in there. That would have been jokes. I'll fight this this person. Hey! Watch where you're stepping, bro. You don't want to kick over an antsy nest. Trust me. I'll kick you, John. Antsy. Oh, they're cute. Oh, is that the thing that evolves into the thingy? No, no, it's not. It's not. I got excited. No, no, I got excited, but I don't think that's true. Wait, it might be. Is that the thing that evolves into the uh, the thing at the beginning of the game? I See, I haven't looked at the Lumipedia, like, on, on uh, other than the starters on the website, because I don't want to get spoiled on certain things. Like, I think it's more fun if I don't know going into it. Like, so, some games, obviously, I do. But I'm behind on getting into Lumion anyway. Like, the game's been out for a few years now. So, like, I feel like I don't have to be, like, 100% on top of everything. So I'm just kind of relaxing and just taking these. Just just discovering the, the monsters as they come. And then we'll make all the guides and stuff when I'm done. John is about to send in another ANSI. Uh, nope. I will not switch. Get pecked. Yeah, the thing that your mom has. I was wondering if it evolves into that. 
But that thing was a grass type. This thing could evolve into a grass type. I mean, this thing... I don't know if this thing's bugging grass. I, I, I have no idea, but... I think it would be quad effective if it was. Oh, hit me with some type of leech seed equivalent? Is that what happened? Or he used some sort of mega drain equivalent? Anyway, he's dead. Level seven. Look at his face. Yeah. Oh, I failed. <laughs> Same. If you hear rattling, then you might be close to an antsy nest. If you hear your, your face getting stomped into the curb you might be close to me is that, what, is that what these are supposed to be oh cathorn i think we might be at the point where i can start actually killing these things ah still still not in one shot range the one shots are nice. You quickly just run in the battle. We'll give them a quick, a quick death. Get some XP and get out. You know, I was kind of skeptical when I first uh, heard about this game. I was like, "Oh, it's on Roblox, whatever." Like, I don't really know anything about Roblox because I'm, uh, again, it was a little bit past my time. Like when kids were playing it, I was a little older. I think I was in high school actually when when Roblox started getting really uh, really popular, but um, yeah, so it wasn't really my thing. Like I I didn't know what it was. Like I just figured it was kind of like Minecraft, which was another thing that was a little after my time too. Like I was I think I was in high school and Minecraft got popular as well. Um, Might have been earlier, but I, I didn't really know about it. But anyway, so so like I was a little bit skeptical because I was like I didn't know what Roblox really was, but yeah, I'm surprised how much fun this game has been. Like, it, this game's really well put together. I just wish I could jump. That'd be OP. Not to get anywhere, just because just, just I want to jump. <laughs> okay, th th there's something going on in here. What are these mushrooms? Scenery. Oh. Grubby. We'll just run because it seems we have a a friend to fight here. Got a nice little friend who wants to fight. What's up, buddy? The map said the ruins were here, but I see nothing. What am I missing? Oh, I'm in the right spot. Okay, so he's not a he's not a trainer. They're up there. What am I missing? How the heck do I get up there? Hmm. Wait, do I need to access the watch? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's cool. That's not what I want to do. Okay, uh... No... All right, well, I am completely and utterly unsure what to do with this, with this information. <laughs> it's phase. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I need something. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep moving and see what's uh, what's going on. Clearly, we got to get up there. That might just be a... It could just be there to hint for you to look up or something. Uh, oh. Well, that's a town. Okay. Already fight. Yeah, oh, oh, we're back. Yeah, we're back. We're back where we were. Okay, you know what it is? I probably have to go around. Because I could have kept going straight, but then I jumped down those ledges. So now I need to, I need to backtrack a little bit.
I think this game looks really nice with the low poly. I think I said that in the last episode. But, like, so many games uh, in the indie scene try so hard to be realistic, but just don't end up looking realistic. This game doesn't try. It's just like, yeah, we're low poly, so what? And it just, I, I think it looks good. The characters are okay looking. Like, like, like uh, they're okay, but uh, what I think looks nice is the environment. Reminds me of, like, N64 days, and I'm about it. Like, PS1, N64. Maybe GameCube, I don't know. I hate this thing, it just spams. Oh, you know what? Is this the evolved form of, of what I have? I just realized that. Is this the evolved form of Cath? Whatever. He just spams uh, hardened bait. He's basically Metapod. So my one my one complaint about a lot of monster taming games, and, and like it doesn't really bug me because like again I like Pokemon like games, but a lot of games like to follow like some of the unnecessary tropes with Pokemon. So for example, there's always like a starting bird. There's always, um, well, I mean, not always, but like in this case, there's like something that's kind of like Metapod. There's bugs that evolve early, like that type of stuff. Like you don't need in the Pokemon like format necessarily. I'm not saying that it makes it bad, but it's okay. Prope isn't used to its new body yet. I'm not saying that it makes it bad, but it's just, it, it's just something I noticed. Like it's okay to go outside of the box. Like, like you don't have the first area doesn't have to have a bunch of bugs and like, you know, kind of basic birds. Second area doesn't necessarily have to be a big forest or whatever. But, yeah, it's just my opinion. Uh, that's back to the town too, right? Might as well battle this person. Sup? Nice hair. The forest is creepy. You can get out quickly by following this trail, but before you leave, let's have a battle. Don't tell me what to do. Alice would like to battle. Alice sent out Twiddle. I should have named it Tittle. That was funny. Okay, Peck is neutral on Peck. Okay. But yeah, like I wouldn't mind like a monster taming game that the first area is like a volcano or something instead of it having to be like a grassland. I know the idea is like to have it sort of escalate, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking of anything off the top of my head, but I'm like, I'm sure there are games like that, but I just find it's a, it's a pretty common trend. Like, oh, here's a starting bird. Here's this, here's that. Like it's, it, it, it's all familiar, but okay, let's, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna sting. This is gonna sting, buddy. Gets, gets smacked. I'm just happy that my starter evolves into a freaking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm happy about. Twillat, is that the evolve? No, the, that's the chipmunk thing. What's up, buddy? Get shocked? Can I get shocked real quick? Get shocked real quick? Alright, you're free to go. Or are you holding me captive? Okay, so that's the way out, back out. So what's over here? Ooh, I like the, I like the, what are they called? Rosemary? The pink, no, no, is that what they're called? The cherry blossoms, that's what they're called, <laughs> rosemary. <laughs> cherry blossoms. Hey there, champ, what's up? Oh my, it seems you've located one of the lost tablet pieces. Yeah, so lost. Excellent work. I knew you could do it. Now, what on earth is that dark goop just beyond the tree? It appears to be uh, radiating the same energy as our tablet piece. Looks as if it's tainted by something. I'm going to need that stone as, as soon as possible to begin examining it. I need to know more about the energy that surrounds it. Go ahead. Try to uh, try out your LumiWatch's digital transport feature. Nice. Awesome, I should be receiving it momentarily. Imagine if you got the coordinates slightly wrong. So it like 
appeared right above your dad's head, and then just gravity. I, I got. Oh, it's here. Oh, oh my god, you could use that as like warfare. Like you're at war, right? You just transport like a tank or something and just drop it on the enemy troops. You're boom. Awesome. I should be receiving it momentarily. Oh, by the way, what is that thing behind you? Ooh. Dusk it. Looks more powerful than normal. Go twiddle. Oh, twiddle. Twiddle getting smacked right now. Oh, oh is this a spirit type? Okay, let's go. Let's go peck. The corrupt dusk at you startle. I'm not going to be able to catch it, am I? I want to catch the corrupt boy. Okay, uh. Get him, Cathorn! Oh, bug bite's good on spirit? Or is this a dark type? I don't know. Ooh, it one-shotted me. Okay. Okay, then. Oh, it resists electricity. That's not good. Well, that's the best bet I got. Oh, he's faster, too? Oh, if it's taken down, it's good. Okay, so it's like Destiny Bond. Okay. That did nothing. I want to see if I'm allowed to catch it. You cannot capture Corrupt Lumion. Okay. All right, well, at least I didn't have to waste a turn on that. This isn't good. Let's go growl. Uh, we'll do one more. Stretch. Haha, waste your... Waste your turn. Okay, now I'm faster. It's too bad I can't boost my, my special attack or anything. Or sorry, my ranged attack. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a stally battle, I guess. At least I'm faster. Stupefy? No, 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 Once he's low stamina, I'll do a full rest. Ooh, heavy rainfall. Geklo? Acting strangely. Oh, there's not enough energy. No, I don't want to use it. Uh, you know what? We'll do a full rest because he's going to have to do a full rest too. Or he's going to do a wait, so I might as well get a bunch of stamina. Win against the AI. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just going to take another 100,000 hits to kill him. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. You're done. Get wrecked. Give me that level 11. You know, give me that level 12 while you're at it. Aw, oh, so close. Join my team? No! Get back here, you fucking bitch. Dusky can now be found roaming in the wild. Oh, okay, cool. What do you mean roaming? Oh, there you are. I was worried something happened to you when you hung up suddenly. Is everything all right? Hmm, that must have been a Duskit, the guardian spirit of Gale Forest. Anyway, I got the tablet piece you sent. From what I can tell, it has a strong reaction to light. The corrupted matter seems to be completely dissipated when I shined a bright light on it. 
You might be able to destroy that dark blob with a bright light. I have an idea. Sylvan City has a battle theater. As you know, each battle theater has a head trainer known as the Battle Star. If you can defeat a Battle Star's challenge, they will award you with a medal and in some cases install an exclusive application on your Luma Watch. Luckily for us, it just so happens that Nea, Battle Star of Sylvan City, has an app that can shine very bright light from your Luma Watch. Really? I got I, I gotta beat I gotta beat uh, a, a a gym leader to, <laughs> to get a flashlight. Perhaps a bright perhaps bright enough to attack the Veil of Darkness. Gym Leader Ed, I think our next move for you is to make your way to Sylvan City and complete the Battle Theater Challenge. While you work on that, I will try to pinpoint the location of another chunk of the tablet. I'll give you another call soon. See ya. Hi there! I've watched your battle with Duskit from a distance. Seems like a battle it needed was to be freed from the corruption. I've heard reports of other people encountering corrupt Lumians all around Ruria. Oh yeah? Thanks for the info. That would have been helpful to know before. It does not appear that they can be captured, but I've heard that knocking them out will at times make them drop a mysterious item that contains the powerful essence. If properly applied to your Lumian, they could potentially give your Lumian a powerful stat boost. All right, well, I've had enough action. I'll be returning home. Good luck, adventurer, and thanks for your help. Shut up. Yeah. I will get out of bounds in this game eventually. Just you guys wait. Huh, interesting. What's in the cherry blossoms? A grubby? I thought there might be something special in here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna kill it just because it's like I'm almost level 12 and I want my I want my level up. Yeah, give me all that. Try one more. Yeah, it's just regular stuff. Nothing crazy. Maybe you could find that thing in here. Um, the spirit type guy. I'll, I might look into it. Might look into it in the future, but for now, let's uh, let's continue on our merry little way. I want to know what was upstairs in that other area. Maybe a uh, point in which I can't access until I have a special ability. What's up? Ugh. I could climb that. Ooh, a cool ability would be to a reverse ledge hopping ability. That'd be a cool ability for them to add. Eh. I was hoping maybe something cool would be here. I don't know, it's a new patch of grass. You never know, right? So, Sylvan City will be across the bridge for, um, that was being blocked by the stupid students. I definitely need to train up our other guys. I don't know what type this this uh, theater is, but I'm definitely going to have to do some training. Um, like, spread out the XP a little bit. Because as of right now, it's basically, it's basically the... Uh, Weevolt show. So Twiddle's actually decent. Uh, I'm not really training these two. I don't really care for them. I, I think Propay might be the evolution of Cathorn, but like I already put some whatever the equivalent is to EVs in Cathorn. So, but but yeah. So right now Cathorn needs some level ups. Uh, Twiddle is is okay, and uh, Weevolt's a little bit over leveled. So that's gonna be the plan. But yeah, guys, we are gonna call it an episode from here. We did something with that guardian spirit and uh, I'm, I'm gonna look into whether or not I could catch it at some point just because I think it would be pretty interesting to have on the team especially like with 
it being a dark or ghost or whatever kind of type it is. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you are fans of Lumion Legacy and want to see more Lumion content, definitely know, uh, sorry, definitely let me know in the comment section because other than just Let's Plays, like I can do more scripted videos, I can do guides, I can do stuff like that. So definitely know, uh, let me know, sorry, <laughs> again. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I put out new monster taming videos every single day. Special thanks to my patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Steel Case, Drogos, and Dark Persona. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.